All right. Where is the lever? Ah, here it is. And zombies. Do zombies have blood? I don't think so. Anyway, I have the book. Hello.
know I'm supposed to get into that central chamber, but where is there a way in? There we are. Descending deeper. Oh. Oh boy. Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. Let's discuss this problem, whatever it may be. There is an alliance between your leader LaCroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. I've got to get a publish it. You two obviously aren't aware of my reputation. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? No. Okay then. 
can't talk to Beckett yet. My Wunderkin returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ankoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. Before we do that, I need an answer. Are you in an alliance with the Kui Jin? What? Preposterous! No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. I was told by the Kui Jin agents to send to steal the sarcophagus. And you believed them? They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Yes, but they... Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks, rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. I don't believe you. I'll indulge your baseless paranoia no further. Let's open the sarcophagus. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> Budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> Why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. So, how do we open it? In the last few seconds, I've had very few epiphanies. I may be old, but I didn't build it. How knowledgeable are you on ancient Assyrian funerary constructs? Assume... not very. Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. Who? His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. So, where can I find him? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. It appears he's been abducted. By who? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. You figured all that out from sniffing around his room? Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them head first over the side. So, hunters have this guy? What would hunters want with an archaeologist? The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection, or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. The Society of Leopold? Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, 
I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. So how do we get them out? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath, where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. I'll kill every hunter in the place if I have to. I'd recommend no other course of action to the foolhardy. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. I have a few questions before I go. Excellent. Anything else about you can tell me about the Society of Leopold? The Society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Best not to announce yourself. You spoke of Gehenna before. Think this sarcophagus is part of it? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. Have you learned anything about the Thin Bloods? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Tell me about yourself. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Uh, like yourself, I consider myself somewhat of a scholar. I consider myself a seeker of reluctant information. Scholar sounds like academia. Ugh. How versed are you in the occult? Not very. Then you wouldn't know that Dracula, the fictional vampire of movie fame, was very real. His real name was Vlad Tepes, and he was a Jemisi, though he was not Sabat. By some accounts, he still lives into these nights. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Uh, I'm ready to go get the professor. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. Okay. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? Getting the sarcophagus back was quite an expensive ordeal. I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. Did I mention I had to slink through sewers, Chinatown, fight a chemise? Point made. You've made a wide, wise investment. Now it's time for me to pay off. Uh, what are you uh, doing, Chunk? I'm sorry there, but Mr. LaCroix, he told me not to let anybody up right now. He sounded kind of P.O.'d. Must be all the late nights he's working. Anyhow, I can't let you go see him right now. Sorry. It's of critical importance that I bring this matter to his attention personally. Mr. LaCroix was real specific. And maybe if you come back later, you'll have calmed down. He seems to be all tore up about that sarcophagus that got stolen from a museum. <laughs> Must be a real history lover. All right, see you, Chunk. Not supposed to open the doors for anyone. Sorry there, Chief. Alright, so let's go to the hospital and give this thing to Pisha.
Yes. Here's that book you were looking for. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? <laughs> uh, the California Giovanni just made the endangered species list. It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. What do you mean? In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. I see. I'll take that into consideration. Bye. So the key of Alamut increases all soak damage readings. So, that's pretty good. Master? I'll return later. Hmm. Okay. Next time, I'll go to the Society of Leopold.